A company that is not established in France does need to be VAT registered in France in order to trade within France or with other European countries from France. It can take up to eight or 10 weeks, maybe longer, depending on the holiday seasons and stuff like that, uh, to be VAT registered in France. Uh, obviously, we have to make sure that all the documents are in place, that the fiscal authorities are happy with it. Um, and in the meanwhile, Hélène Boulanger, r &B, has a, a series of solutions in place to bridge this period. Uh, we can think about solutions such as uh, asking for VAT back on imports before you were VAT registered in France. Um, we can think about solutions such as exemption rules permitting to sell goods into France without being VAT registered for non-established companies, but only uh, from a B2B perspective, obviously. B2C is really something else. And we can think about specific import regimes, such as regime 4200, in order to bridge this period again, to make sure that we can organize intra-European deliveries, intra-community deliveries from France to other countries, awaiting your VAT registration in France. The 4200 custom regime is basically one of the solutions that we provide to our clients uh, as a temporary solution while waiting for your VAT number. It is a specific customs regime saying that a company that is non-established in the country of import, let's say in France, can import goods and subsequently these goods are sold to another EU country without having your own VAT number in that country. Now, because of the fact that the regime is uh, specific for this kind of operations, you do not pay VAT on import in France, even though goods are cleared in France. So they're put in free circulation in France, but they are destined for another country. And so we have a cash flow advantage not paying any VAT on import in France. The limitations of the regime 4200 are obviously the fact that you don't have a VAT number in France yet, so you're using our global VAT number. I look at it as a kind of an exception rule. Basically, the regime 4200 says that as goods are destined for another country, and we know in advance to which country they are destined, these goods must leave immediately to that other country. We cannot warehouse these goods in France or whatsoever. Um, the second limitation is that Regime 4200 cannot be combined with other exemption rules within Europe. So obviously we cannot combine this with triangular exemption rules for VAT or whatsoever. The goods really need to come to France physically first. They need to leave France immediately. They need to leave to the destination that was upfront mentioned on the import document. And you will need to have a limited tax representative who will provide you with their global VAT number in order to make sure that you have an intracommunitary operation that is following the import from France to that other European member state, such as Germany, for example. And this is where RMB comes into place with our global VAT number. To ship DDP into the European Union, a company, first of all, must be identified within the customs authorities in European Union. This is happening thanks to the IORI number. This is a specific customs number that is issued to every company, to every importer of records, the company that is importing the goods officially on their name, so that the customs authorities can identify this company and so clear the goods on the name of this company. This is only the first step because this is only from a customs perspective. Following that, and depending on the type of operation that is following the import, you will be needing either a French VAT number or some other solutions that we can provide as your VAT agent or your fiscal representative in France uh, in order to claim your VAT bank that you have been paying in France or in order to represent you as your limited tax representative, etc., etc. So from a customs perspective, that's one thing. You only need to be identified with an IORI number. But from a fiscal perspective, which people often forget, 
uh, there are many other obligations to keep in mind. Who is now the importer of records and how to determine who exactly should take this role on, on itself? An importer of records is the company that is officially designated as responsible for the import formalities that needs to be done to be able to clear these goods into a certain country. In our example, for example, a British company who is importing goods into France. Now, this British company, even though the company is non-established in the European Union, can clearly be the importer of records, uh, having a valid EORI number in the European Union, and will be put on the import documents as such. This is really important because this decides the rest of the story and will determine who is then liable for VAT and other responsibilities within the operation. First of all, since Brexit, we can act as your VAT agent or limited representative within the European Union, depending on the situation and the type of operation. That is obviously our core business and that is what we do since 40 years. Um, we will also help you with your compliance uh, regarding VAT. We will also help you with your VAT filings and the day-to-day -day work, uh, how to extract data that is necessary in order to do all that. Besides all this, since Brexit, but also since before Brexit, we have a vast network of, of partner companies, uh, very talented in what they do, professional. From the other side, we have a vast network of partners with whom we work for years now. Uh, even before Brexit, this was our core business and this remains our core business. We choose our partners very wisely and their strategy is just the same as ours. Their work is what they do and they focus on that. So we can help our clients finding these ne necessary partners in order to set up the chain of events and in order to make sure that all the partners that are involved know how to count on each other and know what the strengths and weaknesses are so that we can avoid bottlenecks.